America's Forum. Let's also welcome in one of, uh, one of the great friends of this program, an orthodontist by profession, a concerned citizen, some might say a budding politician by <laughs> avocation. It's our friend, Dr. Larry Kawa. Larry, it's so good to have you back on America's Forum. And I understand you've been hard at work uh, tracking down a story about President Obama and his knowledge of ISIS. Simply stated, what did the president know and when did he know it? Well, when he had that national press conference on August 28th wearing that famous tan suit to hypnotize us, he said that he had no strategy on ISIS. And I remembered what Reagan would do. He would trust but verify. So I decided to file what was called a Freedom of Information Act request or a FOIA request, which uh, typically takes a lot longer than this one took. This past Monday, I received an email from the Department of Defense signed by the acting chief of the FOIA division of, of the Pentagon. Uh, my request was, can you please disclose to me what specific information or communications existed between the White House and the Department of Defense on ISIS or ISIL strategy? Pretty simple request. And uh, they came back to me and sent me a, a response that said there were no communications between the White House and the Department of Defense. Now let me back up and remind you that the President said that the reason that he didn't bring this issue to Congress because the Department of Defense did not give him any options or direction to go with and he was waiting to hear back from them predicated on their previous conversations. Surprise. There were no previous conversations. So for the fans of those who liked you can keep your doctor's line number one, it looks like it got bumped, it's two now. He never had any conversations with anyone at the Department of Defense. Mm -hmm. And I, I thought Christmas came early, so I called the FOIA agent and spoke with him myself. And I actually asked him, is it possible there's a classified document? He says, no, if there were, it would be listed but not described. He says, we actually took it a level, server, a, a level further with our executive services division. We went through every communication of the Secretary of the Department of, of Defense, his deputy, every member of the National Security Council, including Secretary of State John Kerry, his deputy. Uh, we went to Susan Rice, the National Security Advisor, her deputy. They were, there wasn't one word, one result that came back, an ISIS strategy or ISIL strategy. The take-home point is not that he's a liar. That's something we figured out long ago. The take-home point is that he is not interested in defeating ISIS. The only thing that he knows about it is perhaps how to spell it. Uh, it took him a while. But uh, the point is that if he wanted to defeat ISIS, he'd be defeating ISIS. There's only 30,000 of them and a million of our military. What inspired you to do this? Honestly, I've always grown up asking myself, what would Reagan do if he were in a jam? And we're in a jam. You know, we've got 30,000 terrorists out there beheading Americans. And I think that every poison has an antidote. And this one is enhanced awareness. I think that the appropriate course of action is to go out there, figure out what it is that was done, what could we do differently, and trust but verify. I trusted, and apparently there was no verification. Larry, in this day and age of acronyms, we want to make sure everybody understands FOIA stands for Freedom of Information Act, correct? Correct. My grandparents said it was the hallway. Go down the FOIA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yes, it's taken on a new meaning, just like ISIS and ISIL did. But uh, w continuing the metaphor, it gives you access as if you're walking into the foyer to, to f the avenues of inquiry and the uh, the government coming forward because of the Freedom of Information Act to give you the necessary information. And on this point, the Pentagon was crystal clear. The president had no interest, had, had no questions for the Defense Department about ISIS. Absolutely, and I think that the person who's gonna be in a really tough position with sweaty palms is gonna be Josh Earnest, because I would love to see someone in that press room ask him specifically what communications were you waiting to hear back from, from the Department of Defense, when here we have a FOIA request signed by the chief of the Pentagon stating that there were no communications. And by the way, uh, just to help get it out there so that people could read it, I posted it on the internet. Uh, there was a site that someone had let lapse they used for a presidential election. Oh. It was ObamaForPresident.org. If you go on there, you'll see the FOIA request along with the FOIA response on DOD letterhead signed by the chief. All there on the Internet, and you shared it with us this morning here on the Anchor Desk on America's Forum. Just between us girls, J.D. <laughs> <laughs> Larry Cowell, we thank you for your time, and America's Forum continues following this time. After.